Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. In this video, myself, Jim Morgan, and Darkest Knight are going to talk about Osher Constantia. She's coming out in a few days, and also they revise how some of her abilities work at which league levels they trigger. And so I think it's a great time to get into this conversation, especially since there's already bids on peak monsters and you can see what people are thinking it should be worth. And I want to talk about, are those numbers logical? Is it overpriced, underpriced? And where does this thing fit in within the meta? Guys, if that sounds interesting, stick around, stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Have an amazing day. God bless. I'm probably going to be... I'm sorry. So uh, we are getting uh, Osher. Is that her name? Yeah. No, from no the this Rift is... Watchers one? This one is... Um, this one is uh, Lux Vega. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, but I'm just saying, we're, we're getting... Um, I want to say the other one on the 20th. Okay. Yes. Or 28th. I for, Yeah, 20th. So, and I assume we're going to be getting this one after Osher. So, probably next month, I could see. Osher's in the uh, marketplace already. I think it might be sooner than that. I have no real evidence to this, but I saw her. Look at this. Like, the, the, the JPEG is broken um, because it's not meant to be, like, up yet. But it yeah. is here. Um, people are putting bids and like getting queued up so when it lists they can snag them snag them snag them look at these price targets for a 30 dollar uh okay so i'm forgetting <laughs> osher's caliber and quality right now i want to pull her up in a second here but look at this 30 bucks for the regular foil 300 for the high for the gold foil these are just the bid prices um yeah. but at least a, there are let's see there are this guy's looking to buy a max level one for 330 bucks. And this guy's talking $11, which is a joke. Oh, um, she doesn't get tank heal at level. Oh, she gets it in gold. Let's pull. Yeah. Let, let me pull is her that up. Correct. The, they made a change to, to it. Um, uh, yeah. uh, gonna, they killed her. It's they over. killed her. She's dead. dead card. I wanted to talk about Osher Constantia. Oh, right. And what? And we, we, we saw that the price Egg, at least from the bid value that's in there now is saying 30 bucks a pop <clears throat> for a max copy they're willing to pay 330 bucks for this regular foil thoughts at that price point and 300 dollars per gold foil uh 1200 for a gold foil this thing what, what do we think about that <laughs> not anymore not with tank heal being in gold no way is that where it is all right maybe it is uh, yeah, so you would need like two copies of this to get it to the tank heal and then four to max it out to go to the three damage, I think. I mean, for um, me, that's a nest. This is a necessary card at the highest levels, but I hear your point. Yeah, like yeah. at the lower levels where some of the buying pressure comes from and therefore part of the price comes from is not necessarily there if the heal isn't the first thing. Yeah, if you're not going to max it out, um, I would probably stay away from it. <clears throat> Yeah, if you don't play it at least gold with dragons, like I, I wouldn't touch it. Yeesh. Yeah. Oh man, reflection shield so juicy these days, though. Like, you just have, I think, better cards with the reflection I, shield. Agreed. I mean, you can mm. get a uh, Venator Kinjo if you need some reflection, right? So yeah, you and know what I'm liking though. Like, I actually in some situations will do like more than one reflection shield. And it, like in a blast battle, like where you know he's like you don't even have to doubt, like they have blast. You can yeah. bring the taunts and you can bring reflection, and you can have like you can have a situation where if that one taunt goes down, I've got a second taunt, and he's like, for instance, I'm thinking Kraken in the first. Um <clears throat> what's that? That taunt there's a reach monster from the blue team in the uh with three melee damage that has reflection shield. Um yeah and and then you get in the back line you get the wave brood with for instance i guess constant constantia here beside it and so you've got taunt in the first and you got you're just got like conditions upon conditions for sustain through resurrect and reflection and blast protection and heal oh man i'm excited for that one this one but at a higher level i'm excited for it not necessarily oh, yeah. Yeah. At the higher level, you have to. You're gonna have to have this card, right? Because um, you'll be brutalized by anybody. Yeah. Um, has it and you don't. Yeah. Birds, bees, and trees. Reflection shield for the whole team is OP. Just like double heal. Yeah. I think. I think it is because it's not even just 
oh man, I'm protected from blast damage. It's actually magic reflect. It's actually thorns. It's actually right. Like it, 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 it doesn't it protect against those two? Yes, it does. Yeah. So, so I mean, that's really, really huge. Like there's a lot of times I annoyingly get killed by magic yeah. reflect, um, as a magic monster and you know, not having it. And Constantia is going to, going to save, save the day from that way. Oh yeah. Especially with the pervasiveness of Amplify, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're just getting brutalized by those things. Yep. And Honestly, then... I think I'm just more upset that death again, doesn't get a tank healer at bronze and silver. You have to now wait till gold again, just like the, the, the Pegasus, corrupt Pegasus. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a good, it's a good point. But they, do, um, they have a strong life leech scavenge opportunity. Um, yeah, but that that doesn't help the tank. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Um, well, I mean, it 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 helps your tankiness, right? That's yeah. the issue. It's not just uh, does your tank stay alive. It's actually like you know, does your team have more the sustainability? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've been playing a lot of scavenge lately. I've been playing, uh, I'm playing like a lot of Fernheart. We <clears throat> we just have like kind of talked about this in the past of like uh, why you prioritize like the dodge meta because you don't want your tank to die, mm -hmm. right? There's different so it's ways. Like, all right, in death, like there's no way to really support your tank in terms of the healing for it unless you're in modern gold or my bad wild gold right now until osher comes out mm. i mean again and there's there's ways to cool. there's ways to like so you said like the dodge meta the like sustain your tank that's one that's one avenue of success and it's it's a it's certainly a, a meaningful one like coral lurker yeah. like we've seen um but it's even with the death you can you can do well let's look at it right now that like i i play uh a lot these days with Dark Juan, and it's uh -huh. got so many hit points, and it does use scavenge, and it, it the scavenge is very meaningful, and then yeah. and then you can support it without bringing a heal, because it has naturally it has void, um, and then what I'm doing is I'm bringing how do I support it? I, I use um, the summoner that nerfs magic, and then I bring a silence, and then I feel secure because one it's got a huge hit point pool, two it's got void um three it's got scavenge and so yeah if i have the pegasus so i'll do that also but i'm saying like this works with even in a no heal condition like when the rule set says no heals um yeah yeah i mean but you're you're right but it also is just it's lore right like you know like healing bringing a ton of healing to the death team just doesn't make a lot of sense uh i think yes and no because i i also see them being like they're kind of the masters of life and death. So they then be able to manipulate life as a whole mm. with the healing and then also, you know, causing your opponent to lose life, obviously. Um, the other day I was looking, I was doing something and well, let's do it quickly. Now I was going through and I was looking at, I forget what ability it was. Uh, I think it was, I was looking at taunt monsters and seeing how many each team has, but it yeah. just quickly for the context of like lore, you can see like life leech. Um, there's only one on the fire. There's two on the green or in the blue. There's one on the green. And this is interesting. Cause like there's four on the death and one on the dragon. So it, it, there are just there definitely are trends like that um and triage and heal tank heal is the same thing um if you go fire one for fire four for blue oh yeah but hang on a second three because that's an alpha um wow like truly four for the green team wow i guess four again right because two of them are alphas so green and green white white and uh blue are super tank heavy healers and that yep. and and that and uh death and dragon and fire all kind of 
languish in that component. And that's just, it's kind of cool that that's the way it is. Even if you do want more of that, I know from, and you, you guys have your opinions and you, you come from like collectible card games too. Um, it's yeah. kind of cool how like one team does one thing better. Lord of the Rings living card game. The oh. Rohan is like, they have, they have a bunch of horses. The horses carry you faster. They allow you to, you know, do double actions, that kind of thing. Um, um, Gondor is like, they're far more sturdy. They do more damage. They're kind of the tanks. Um, some of the, the, uh, I think they're called the Astari, like, um, Gandalf. And you can pick some of the other Astari, the angel guys, um, the, way more powerful, but they're mad. They cost so much extra threat. And, and, and every game that has any sort of collectible card element has that where like, they each have their niche and you wouldn't use it in every condition because of that, that impairment. But it's kind of cool that it is different. It's not just white is the same as blue is the same as red is the same as black. Yeah, no, I agree with you. Yep. I, um, I actually, I'd hoped that the, um, one of the, the rift watcher summoners would have had, um, instead of giving, uh, um, the death summoner, um, cripple that it would have had, uh, life leech. That, that was my hope. That could have been broken. Well, yeah, <laughs> which is probably why they didn't do that. <laughs> but it would have been sweet. Yeah. Although, although, so we have talked about, well, we haven't talked about it, uh, but they have brought up negative abilities for your team. I could definitely see them being like minus two HP or minus one HP, whatever, to your team, but then give your stuff life leech. Yeah, that would be awesome. That could... Yeah definitely be a thing 